This is Coin Local 6 News at 6. It's, it's important to uh, do something unique and different in order to get customers in. Vendors and couples are exploring all their options, how to have a great wedding during tough economic times. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 6. I'm Ken Boddy. And I'm Alexis Delsid. Thanks for joining us. This economic earthquake is now toppling wedding plans for many local couples. Coin Local 6 reporter Lisa Balick is just back from a wedding expo. So, Lisa, are couples canceling or just scaling back their celebrations? Ken, couples are downsizing their events and their wedding day budget. They either don't have the money or they worry what they will spend will be needed down the road. But small business owners are getting creative trying to capture those wedding day dollars. I have to fit into the dress, remember? No. <laughs> Many brides-to-be watch what they eat, but now it's their budget that's slimming down fast. Well, I really wanted a big honeymoon, but that's probably not going to happen. Katie Hall and her fiancé, Larry Cusick, are tying the knot July 4th. But since he just lost his auto detailing job and traffic has slowed at her hair salon, they've cut their wedding budget in half. I'm bartering with my photographer, so, you know, she comes in and gets her hair done whenever she wants to, and then I just kind of keep a tab. And then, you know, by the time the wedding comes around, hey, this is how much you spent, so I get to spend that much. Have you thought of other locations? Couples faced with student loans and a tough job market are scaling back dream weddings some have planned since childhood. It's not just wedding couples who are making changes. Vendors are also coming up with new ways to attract customers. What we came up with was, is called uh, DVD invitations. Wedding providers are working harder to sell optional services as essential. Every so much happens at your wedding. That you don't remember, you don't even see. But if you have a videographer there, you get to go back and actually relive it. There's Costa Rica. Brides are price comparison shopping and bargaining, deciding how to get more for less. Christina Tabor is advising her mom who is getting married. People are reducing their prices and um, kind of comparatively shopping is going to give us, you know, the best bang for the buck. There are more do-it-yourself couples, making their own invitations, doing their own flowers. But smart wedding vendors are figuring out ways to still catch some of those wedding day dollars. We've been adding sound system rentals, so going out providing just speakers and microphones for the events. We've been doing video projected rentals as well as part of our packages. While the economy might flatten some wedding extravagance, couples are still just as excited about their special day. Ooh, that is good. Isn't it? <laughs> Now, the average cost of a wedding in our area is over $15,000, according to some websites. That's not including the ring and the honeymoon. Now, we did find some websites that offer do-it-yourself bargain tips on wedding planning these days with the economy. You can go to our website at coinlocal6.com for that information. Lisa Bale at CoinLocal6.